Now, what we're going to find in a lot of these um, sections is there's going to be a lot of scenario-based um, questions. So we're going to be running off certain people, what they want to do, and we're trying to put together programs and goals based on that. Yeah. So first of all, we're going to talk about Anthony. So, and I'll just read through his, um, his, his little uh, scenario. So Anthony is a 32-year-old male who has come to your health club to see what the facility has to offer and hopefully see a qualified fitness instructor. He is new to the gym and explains that he likes playing sports but doesn't really like group exercise classes. He also explained that his primary goal is to get toned but could only really train three times per week. All right, so that's who you're dealing with at the moment. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to list... So remember this list, you just put in the question down. So list two questions you could ask Anthony in order to establish the following three areas. Fitness goals, expectations, and preferences. Okay, so let's have a, let's have a um, think about that one. So what we're trying to establish is the questions are open-ended. Open -ended. Yep. Um, and we need to find the right questions for the right sections. Okay, so let's open up our workshop. Now, if you're trying to establish first up uh, the, the fitness goals, so if you're trying to establish fitness goals, what two questions would you be asking Anthony. Um, what do you want to get out of it? Yes, perfect. Question one. That's the one. So let's put it straight in. Okay, what's another thing? What other, what, um, what, what, how else are we going to try to establish what his fitness goals are? What do you mean? So what other question can we ask? So obviously first is what you want to get out of your training. Um, uh, I want to, yeah, so, and then what's another question you could possibly ask um, in a different way to establish what his fitness goals are? What else could you ask? Let's come back to it. Let's come back to that one. Let's respond yeah. to expectations and preferences first, and then we can go back to the fitness goals. So what about expectations? So you need to establish, you want to, um, so what your client expects out of the workout. What I can do to benefit you. Yeah, 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 yeah. perfect. So what, 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 yeah. What can what can I do? Yeah, perfect. Just ask that. So that way. What about what about um, now around there? His fitness goals. So. Um, in regards to maybe time frames and stuff like that, maybe I would say, how, when do you when do you expect? So how quickly do you expect to reach your fitness goals? So you want to then get an understanding. Okay, well, he wants to get toned. Um, he yeah. reckons he can do it in six weeks. Do you know what I mean? You need to establish his expectations. So therefore, you can then, you know, then you can kind of say, okay, you know, you know, we can break it break it down in regards to your programming, by six weeks, I think we can reach to this and that. So you want to establish now a time frame of how quickly expect that people expect to lose these days 20 kilos in four weeks. It doesn't always work for everyone. That's not always the case. We don't want them, we don't want them losing weight where they kind of, we want them losing weight in a healthy manner. So yeah. we want to now get an, get an idea of what they expect to get, how quickly they're going to get their fitness fitness results from. So I would put, how quickly do you expect to reach your fitness goals? Yeah. 
Okay. All right, perfect. Um, all right, now preferences. Now you now you want to you want to get client preferences. So how do, how do we how do we get what questions would you ask for, to understand client preferences? Asking what training he enjoys. Yep, perfect. So what style of training he enjoys? All right. What what what's it, what else are we trying to what 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 other preferences are we trying to establish? So what what else can we ask him to get as much information as to understand what he what he prefers? How he wants to do it? Yeah. 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 You can definitely ask that. So we would need to understand how he. How he 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 thinks he can get the training programs. He get like things like, oh, you know, I want to kind of really just focus on weights or the style of training that he likes. So then you're trying to establish what style of training he likes and how how he's going to establish that as well. Yeah. Okay. So looking at that information, so you've you've established what he wants, like how he wants how he wants to achieve it. Um, we've established what he likes, what he doesn't like, um, how he how he expects the programs are going to run. Okay, so we've already asked him about so fitness goals. So how does he how um, how does he um, feel he's gonna he's gonna achieve these results? Now what? So, out of all that information you've asked, what do you do? You feel what other extra information do you think is required to get from Anthony before you can before you can put down a program? Um, is there a certain weight you are willing to reach, or? Yep. So, in in regard, yep. So, so remember, his goal is to get toned. So yeah, lose weight. Yep. So we can ask that. him. So the the thing, yeah. So we don't want to be overly overly specific with the. We want we want him to answer those type of question. Um, start talking yeah. about our oh, losing body fat and things like that. Um, so I would I would say more around um, things like how how. How do you think? What like what are the like? Because in regards to tone, tone is quite general. Okay, so saying oh, I want to get toned, um, maybe I would write based based on your, based on your fitness goal of being toned. What other goals do you feel you need to achieve um, to reach that goal? Do you know what I mean? So like we want to kind of establish more mini goals than just toned, but it's got to come from him. So we don't want like to. So what physical features do you want to get out of this or yeah like what's more specific goals do you want to reach to get your end result goal, to get your end result of being toned because what we've got to understand what we've got to give an understanding to him is that tone can mean a lot of things so we want we want to have more specific measurable goals so it might be more like um Losing body fat percentage or increasing muscle mass. You know, what I mean that we need to have more measurable goals. Tone could be anything. So, so based on your goal of being toned, what other specific goals, fitness goals, do you have to reach your ultimate top goal of being toned, or something around those lines as well? Because we need to what specific goals do you need to reach to becoming toned? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay. So in regards to your gym, list explain the possible services that would be available to Anthony within a fitness facility that would help him achieve his goals. All right. So we've got a few examples there of his of the being toned, like, 
So in your regards, in your expertise in regards to your training, um, if someone wanted to get toned, what type of training do you feel would be effective and why would it be effective? Um, the higher intensity training. Yep. Okay, so you, you want to do like a hit type of training, so high intensity interval training? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so that could be one. Yep. So why? So explain how that type of training will help him achieve his goals. All right, so what what else would you use? What other, what other structure? Of training? Yeah, like, to me, I'd probably maybe maybe look at um, something like, like personal training as an option yeah. as well, um, only because you can then customise and individualise your program purely based on getting toned. So it'll be a combination of, uh, reducing muscle mass and increase. I'm sorry, reducing body fat, and increasing muscle mass. So personal training is effective because it can be individualized and customized for him. Yeah, I get that. Good. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So we've established what services he requires to get his programming going. Um, so we're going to move on to the next section. So after you've explained the benefits of both cardio and resistance training exercise in achieving a toned look, Anthony expressed his concerns and dislikes with doing cardiovascular exercise on the machines in the gym. As a fitness instructor, identify two other possible solutions Anthony could incorporate um, into his training um, if he were to follow through with his initial consultation and program design. So he doesn't want to do cardio um, on machines. So what yeah. other style of training and solutions can we identify for cardiovascular training? Boxing. Yep. Put it down. All right. Are you ready to do it? No, yeah, put it down now. Yep, perfect. And just explain how, like, yeah, so how, yeah. All right, yep. So what else, what else alternative service can you provide? Um. What else, what else could you provide? Something away from, um, from the gym facilities to help him achieve what he wants to do. Well, away from the gym, what do you mean by that? Like, so like alternative services than your the usual going on treadmills. Um, so an alternative to your cardio measures. Um. So he, remember, he, he doesn't. He wants an alternative service away from your cardio as well around the, around what he to accommodate him. To give you a little bit of an example, um, you can see it on, on come up on the screen. Things like um, sports specific training can be good. Um, swimming. Oh, so like different styles of training. Yeah, different different yeah services. You can, oh yeah. Yeah. So maybe swimming might be a good option. Yeah, for cardio. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
They're all good. All right. Yeah, that's good, man. That's good. Well done. Great. All right. So let's run. We've got two more questions to go through. Yeah. All right. So as Anthony has the goal to get more tone as a fitness instructor, write a response you could say to Anthony to explain the benefits of both cardiovascular and resistance exercise in achieving a tone physique. So what we want to do is we want to break down both sections. So we want to kind of explain to him the benefits of cardiovascular fitness. So why, what, why doing cardiovascular training, how is that going to um, benefit him to achieve his goals of tone or being toned? What do you think? Um. I learned this from Petty. Um, it just it helps with like oxygen being travelled through the body, making you just more durable. Yes, yes. Let's be a little bit more specific in what what cardiovascular um, training is trying to do. Let's not be. Let's not go physiological. Yes. Let's go. Um, more towards a uh, like a body fat calorie burning type of um, direction because physiological will come you're not expected to know on on the first day how the body reacts to cardiovascular training in a physiological sense that makes sense yeah. we just want to now more establish what cardiovascular training can do in regards more around, um, you know, it can help maybe along the lines of burn, uh, help with the ca uh, burning, burning of extra calorie expenditure and therefore reduce body fat. So that, that's, that's what I would look at in regards to cardiovascular exercise. Um, and then with resistance training, obviously it'll be there, therefore uh, more around building Muscle mass of the body. Yeah. So, yeah, like I don't want you to write down, oh, you know, with resistance exercises, um, you know, when we, when we put on a, a heavy load to a muscle, it tears the muscle fibres. And once the muscle fibres are torn, it builds more, um, muscle cells on top of it. Like we don't need to go into that much detail because we are going to go through that. Um, yeah. Uh, as we go on through it, but not obviously in depth as you're not doing a, um, you know, it's still the first week of certificate three. So it's, we're not expecting scientific answers. Yeah, okay. Okay. Benefits of anti undergoing cardiovascular resistance training means he is able to lose body fat, which leads to better definition and putting on muscle mass to give that tone look Anthony is looking for. Um, I would like to see a little bit, a little bit more information. In, in, in separately, if that makes sense. Yes, yeah, so like split it up. Yeah, split it up and just put a little bit more information. So I would um, just so you're identifying uh, what resistance training is doing um, and what the cardiovascular training is doing. Yes, yeah, sweet. All right. Okay. I want to explain the benefits of both cardio. Okay. So after you've, you've explained the benefits of cardio and resistance training and achieving his goals, Anthony expresses concern and dislike with doing cardiovascular exercise in the through. As a fitness instructor, in, identify two other possible solutions Anthony could incorporate 
into his training if we're able to follow through for the initial consultation. So let's let's we went through um, two options in regards to cardio, um, in regards to alternative services in boxing and swimming. What yeah. other overall programming can we add in in um, to in regards to cardio? So it doesn't so remembering you know, if you look at that kind of system, so we identified, so we can identify things like um, uh, running running clubs are an option as well. Um, yeah. You could do your hit style training as well. So you still you still work. So you're doing all your interval work, to barter work, to barter style training as well. So. I would maybe look into that as well. So all you need to do is identify um, the two other possible solutions. You don't really have to give too much more detail than the identification of two possible solutions. Um, so all you have to really do is yeah, list them. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. So then it gives you four different solutions away from um, cardio and weights just in the gym. Um, so, because t- the Tabata interval can be any sort of format of training as well. Um, it yeah, can run. Just people meeting up and just running. Yeah, like, well, taking out for a run, outdoor run. So, what, he, what he's trying to establish is that he doesn't like on machines. That's fine. Yeah. Um, let's go out for a run. Yeah, okay. So it's not that he doesn't, yeah, so what we try, yeah, so it's trying to establish um, just alternative ways we can offer, we can still incorporate cardio. All right, so last one. Anthony asked what the first step would be to get started at the gym. As a fitness instructor, you know that an initial consultation has to take place where a pre-exercise screening form will be needed to be completed. Explain the purpose of a pre-exercise screening process to Anthony and be sure to address not only the purpose but also the ad- outcome of each stage. Um, so what do you think is the purpose of running a pre-exercise screening on someone? To get a feel on how like they operate. Yep. So... Yeah, like they're- Physical like features, like they might have a disease. Yep. Sort of All thing. right. Let's start. Let's start that. So let's write. Let's let's probably just maybe we can put it in a little bullet points as well if you like. So let's start off in in the the, the purpose the purpose of running a pre screening process. I don't even don't even do bullet points. Let's just put it in a sentence. Yeah. Um, so what do we say first is to um, to understand their medical history. Is that what we said? Like, yeah, to so like understand like yeah the history and sort of medical thing. history. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What else? Um, also, like, take into account um, the level of training they've done before. Yep. yep. So, level of training or exercise history, perfect. Yep. Um, what else? You've got your medical history, you've got your injuries, I'm sorry, how their body operates, um, their their exercise history. What else? What's one? What's their what's family the, history? Yeah, so I guess that would come, probably come down on the person's. So what I would maybe put to understand the person's, put maybe the medical history. Yeah. 
Yeah. Probably want to look at any limitations. So, like things they can't do, um, you know, injuries or certain things. So maybe, yeah, put down, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then what, what, what else, what else are we looking for in that pre-exercise questionnaire? What are we trying to establish from there? One more thing. One. Goals. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Um, so outcome wise, so what's the outcomes from understand the of the pre screening? What are we trying to get out of? What sorry? What's the result of why we need a pre screening? So in a sense of okay, so the outcomes of running uh, of each stage is to what are we trying to establish? What are we trying to do here? To so just understand the client. Yep. Yep. So then we're able to. What? Well, so you understand that. Cater to their needs. Yep. And perfect. Perfect. So you're putting a training program, program design around that caters around their needs, um, and it gives you an understanding of your client. Perfect. Good stuff, man. So this is basically the blueprint of your client. So this is where you're getting you're getting all the information off. And this is where you're going off and asking for your open-ended questions for goals, expectations, and preferences while you're running your pre pre-exercise screening. Yep. Yep. Perfect. That's all we need to do. All right. So we've put so all that information. Yeah, I'm happy with all those responses for one B.